hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can locally install this new model g9 billion on your windows system g9 billion is the best coding and math model at the moment in g series of models the g series of models are the next generation of open source llms trained from scratch by zero one dot ai they have been targeted as bilingual models and trained on 3 trillion of multilingual corpus. The G series models have already become one of the strongest LLM worldwide and I have done various videos on different variants and sizes of these models on my channel. They also show a lot of promise in language understanding, common sense reasoning, reading comprehension and much more. So in this video we will be focusing on this G9 billion model and as I said that it is really good at coding and math and we will be testing it out on both of those fronts. G9 billion is continuously trained based on G6 billion using 0.8 trillion tokens and the training data is up to date until June 2023. If you look at these benchmarks it shows you that G9 billion is almost the best among a range of similar open source model including Mistral 7 billion, Solar 10.7 billion, Gemma 7 billion, Deep Sea Coder 7 billion base and various others as you can see on this one. In terms of overall ability mean all G9 billion performs the best among similarly sized open source model even surpassing Deep Sea Coder, Deep Sea Math, Mistral and Gemma. I'll drop the hugging face card of this model in video's description so that you can um, read further. But for this one, let's check out how we can get it installed locally on Windows and then let's try it out. Now, let me launch LM Studio. This is my LM Studio locally running on my Windows, which has one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and I have 32 GB of memory. I am running the latest model so if you don't have it please either update it or install it if you don't know what LM Studio is I have done various videos on the channel just please search with LM Studio and you will find it now launch LM Studio uh, and then in the home page which you can access by clicking on this home icon at the top left then just type G9 billion and Lone Striker has already done the quantization of it I already have downloaded this U6 level quantized version 1. Click on folder icon to verify that file is there. Then click on these three dots. Now I already have specified my uh, GPU because I already have one GPU. So let me make it at max. Let me bring it down and let's select the model from the middle. It is going to load the model here and it will try to load the whole model on GPU which it has done. Okay, cool. Now let's try out some of the prompting. First, let's try some of the coding issues. So here I'm asking it, create a Python function that takes two numbers and an operator and then different operators and input and returns the result. There you go. So basically I'm asking it to create a calculator, which it has done pretty nicely as you can see. Let me try out some of the data structure question. So I'm asking in, Given a list of numbers, write a Python program to return a new list containing only the even numbers from the original list. There you go. Let me give that prompt again and ask it. Also, put comment and give detail of code. There you go. Comment is there. And now it is telling us what exactly it is doing. Awesome. So far, so good. Let's try to see if it can do dictionary merge. I'm asking it, write a Python program that merges two dictionaries. If there's a conflict, values from the second dictionary, that should override those from the first. There you go. Yeah, pretty good. Now let's see if it can deal with algorithms. So let me ask it to write a, a, write a Python function to generate the Fibonacci sequence up to Nth term. That looks pretty cool. 
let's try to ask it to implement a sorting algorithm the quick sort yeah it is true yeah looks great awesome beautiful i think this is perfect now let's try to ask it a bit of a math questions let me ask it a bit easy one first so i'm asking it write a python function that solves a quadratic equation and return its roots yep sounds great let's try to create some prime numbers so it is worth checking if it is a prime number or not and then listing it out pretty good let's see if it can do some of the calculus uh, one let's see if it can do the derivative calculus so i'm asking it that develop a python function that takes a polynomial as input and then returns a derivative of that polynomial pretty cool awesome stuff and then let's see if it can do some sort of area under a curve so again the, you can see that both coding and math proficiency is really awesome really good okay let's uh, so we are combining both code and mathematics let's see if it can do the monte carlo simulation simulation which is a bit hard so i'm asking it create a python program that uses a monte carlo simulation to estimate the value of pi mm, pretty good awesome stuff let's see if it can do the graph theory basics and in this one i'm asking it that implement a simple graph class in python that can add vertices add edges and search for a path between two nodes Let's see pretty good i would say yep all the in, in, you know any uh, constructors and destructors are there awesome stuff beautiful okay let's add it a matrix operation one there you go okay it has i think it has just hallucinating f uh, around the value error let me ask it again let's see what happens okay it just this one the last one is a bit uh, odd maybe i will just reload the model to see what happens Sometimes, you know, LM Studio just goes out of the way. So let's see. Now, it is a model issue. Anyway, so apart from this last matrix operation, I think rest of the lot is quite good. And this last one is maybe just due to the quantization because I'm still using a quantized one. So it might be expected. But anyway, you saw, saw that, you know, on rest of the coding and math problems, it performed very well. It wrote a very concise, crisp code and it was spot on. As I said, I will drop the link to this model card in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think. But I think in the G family of model, it is a really good coding and math uh, model at the moment. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.